How's it going everyone? Today I got another autograph wrap up video for y'all, but uh, this one will be a little bit different than the normal videos I do because if you haven't already been able to tell, I have some Japanese baseball cards. The Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters uh, came out to Arizona this year for their spring camp. They've actually been coming out to Arizona for quite a few years, but this is the second year in the row that they've uh, used the Diamondbacks spring training facility. And just to give you a uh, quick background about the Ham Fighters, they play in the uh, Pacific League of uh, Nippon Professional Baseball. That's what the uh, league is called over in Japan. So uh, I apologize in advance if I butcher some names, but first up we have their manager, uh, Hideki Kurayama. He was nice enough to sign a few cards for me. Uh, yeah, so we'll get going with his. Uh, coming up is one of my favorite cards of his. These, uh, I think they were giveaways, I'm not really sure, but uh, this is his card. It's the Kira version of them uh, celebrating uh, victory. Uh, each of the cards in this set have a regular version and a Kira like this. Uh, I wasn't able to find his regular version. He thought the card was uh, pretty cool. Uh, personally, I like it because it reminds me of RBI Baseball from... Uh, the, the old Nintendo game, not not the new version that they have now. Alright, so now we have... God, I'm going to butcher his name. I'm sorry. Uh, Daiki Asama. Uh, I was only able to get two of him done. Some of the, uh, some of the players I didn't have a lot of cards uh, of. And then some of the other ones, like the really popular guys, they were hard to get. Because uh, there was there was a decent amount of people at uh, spring camp. Uh, so now we have Kinshi Sugiya. I definitely butchered that name. But uh, he's also in that uh, set that I was telling you about. So here's his regular version of the card. Right. And then we have the Kira version. And it's cool that the Kira version... Uh, uses a different photo instead of the regular one so that was pretty cool the players got a kick out of them I don't think they see them that much uh, I don't know how hard these are to get in Japan or actually how uh, collectible they are but I, I thought they were really cool another one of my favorite releases is the uh, young fighter set from 2017 which is these cards they look pretty sweet uh, it's kinda hard to tell with the camera but over in here you, they have the uh, silver uh, and it, it just looks really good in the uh, daylight. So next up we have another one of the more popular players is uh, Tashi Ota. Uh, I only got to go to spring camp one day this year, which I'm kind of disappointed about. Uh, but the schedule just didn't work out and uh, I, I wasn't able to make it uh, to more because I didn't get a couple of the guys that I wanted. Uh, I really wanted to get Wang Po Jung, but didn't work out. So, but uh, Tashi, he was cool enough to uh, sign a bunch for me. I really like these Cross Universe cards. Uh, all the Cross cards are pretty cool. Uh, here's one of the inserts from Calbi, the uh, potato chips. Uh, it's hard to tell, but uh, you can see like the stars and everything that they have on the cards. It's really cool. I like those. I was a uh, wasn't too sure how the blue sharpie would turn out on them, but it actually turned out pretty good. And then now we have Shota Hiranuma. Only able to get one of him done. Because uh, like I said, some of these guys weren't in the main BBM releases, so I had to get the team set releases, which is one of these. This is the 2018 Ham Fighters release. And then here's one of their coaches, Makato Kaneko. Kaneko. Yeah, so he was really nice. Now we have Kinsuke Kondo. So again, the Ham Fighters set from 2018. And then he's also in the Calbi cards which kind of has like the firework background. 
and then he's also in this release as well the uh I'll have to do more research to see what it is but here's what the back looks like it's pretty cool now we have Toshitaki Yoku again he's in the young fighter set really really nice cards and I like the uh the surface was really nice for autographs too because it was like a matte surface so sorry for all the glares here's another uh, here's one of their coaches Noriyuki Shiroishi I, I think he was a coach I can't remember But uh, I had a few of his cards, and he was nice enough to sign them. And then we have Sho Nakata. Uh, last year, he was only one per. Uh, but the uh, the setup last year was a lot different you had more access to the players and then this year you had to enter the complex from a different gate and uh it really limited the access to the players but for some reason uh show was a a lot nicer this year with signing autographs and uh he's one of the more popular guys on the team so that was really nice here's the cross plays card turned out really good I like the way that looks. And then here's his uh, Tops Now World Baseball Classic card from uh, 2017. And then we have Shinya Suruoka. I definitely butchered that. This is the uh, Owner's League card game cards. He's one of the uh, the greats, so pretty nice looking card. Oops, sorry. Then here's the foil of the uh, 2013 Ham Fighter set. Sorry for the glare. And now we have Kenji Yano, the last two cards. So. Those are my uh, Japanese baseball cards uh, that I was able to get signed this year. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks.